Aloha and good afternoon. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz. I'm the publisher for eTurbo News in Honolulu. Today's story is our latest article published on eTurboNews.com. If you wanted to read this article, go to eTurboNews.com or TravelNews.online. Please listen to our la latest breaking news posting. Thank you. Bhutan hosts major Bangkok event as it reopens for tourism. At a special trade event held in Bangkok yesterday, participants learned firsthand how the Himalayan country plans to protect itself from over-tourism. In his presentation at the Sukhasal Hotel in Bangkok in front of a large audience of invited guests from Thailand's travel community, He Kinzang Dorji, ambassador of Bhutan in Thailand, unveiled a new tourism strategy, announcing the Kingdom of Bhutan reopens its borders to international guests following the COVID-19 pandemic. The reopening is underpinned by transformations in three key areas, enhancements to its sustainable development policies, infrastructure upgrades, and the elevation of the guest experience. His Excellency also introduced the country's new marketing campaign Bhutan Believe. Distinguished guests from Thailand's travel industry with he Ambassador Kinzang Dorji. Bhutan's noble policy of high value, low volume tourism has existed since we started welcoming guests to our country in 1974 but its intent and spirit were watered down over the years without us even realizing it. Therefore, as we reset as a nation after this pandemic and officially open our doors to visitors today, we are reminding ourselves about the essence of the policy, the values and merits that have defined us for generations, said H.E. Dr. Lotte Turing, Prime Minister of Bhutan in his global message issued this week from Bhutan. Karma Lotte, CEO Yangful Travel Tempu and Jiwa Ling Hotel, Paro. Thank you for listening to our latest article on eTurbo News. If you wanted to submit news or you have something you wanted to tell the world, go to breakingnewseditor.com, breakingnewseditor.com, and we can help you out, get your news out to more than 2 million readers and listeners around the world. Thank you.